I think most people, when they have the 20 week anomaly scan, I mean, it's called an anomaly scan, but I think most people go into it expecting, you know, just to maybe find out the gender of the baby and not really um, have a major problem. This was a second child. I'm quite healthy, so, you know, it was all kind of normal. We knew what to expect, we knew what would happen. We knew we'd just go to the scan and they'd tell us that everything was okay. Things seemed to be going normally until all of a sudden the doctor stopped and kept looking at the heart. And uh, then I quickly realized that something wasn't normal. The doctor explained to us what, what the problem was. He said that the major vessels coming from his heart were the wrong way around. So yeah, that, that would kill him if it, if it wasn't fixed. But he explained that there was an operation where they just switch the, the arteries back the right way around. The doctor scheduled me in for a planned cesarean. In the theater were a team from the neonatal unit. Because we did know ahead of time, they were obviously there and ready to spring into action as soon as he was born. Within, I don't know, 10 minutes, um, Jude was born. I was able to have a quick look and a quick kiss with him before he was taken off. I went down and uh, two doctors were, were doing something to him and the look on their faces told me that something was wrong. As the day progressed, I think it became fairly evident that, um, that everything wasn't okay. He wasn't getting enough oxygen around his body, so his organs shut down, his liver, his kidneys, and then his, uh, his heart stopped because they were there, he, uh, he was brought back to life. Had he been born in a situation where that wasn't expected, he wouldn't be with us today. For the next few days, we just really were uncertain as to how he would be um, and whether he'd even get well enough to be able to have the open heart surgery. They decided that because of these episodes he was having, the best thing they could do was to to operate. We went out for dinner and um, as much as possible just tried to distract ourselves from thinking about what was going on. Eventually we headed back to the hospital and right when we got back um, in our parent accommodation um, we received a phone call saying that he had made it through and that um, we could go down and see him in the pediatric intensive care unit. So obviously we rushed down there and we're um, just thrilled with the news that he'd come through and survived that. So. One by one, the different machines were turned off and wires were taken out. So finally we could see his little face. So then he was moved up to the high dependency unit where I started to actually be able to kind of, you know, pick him up and care for him. I think after a total of 28 days um, of hospitalization, he was discharged and I was able to bring him home. So that was a very, very exciting day. Okay. <laughs> this is Jude. <laughs> I think our pediatricians and consultants think that he's kind of defied all expectations and is doing really, really well. Most people would never know that he had had such a rough start to his life. We were incredibly lucky that he was spotted at the scan. Basically, if it hadn't have been discovered at his 20-week scan, he would have died. I feel extremely fortunate that we knew about Jude's condition in advance. I think about it often, actually. Um, if we hadn't known ahead of time, he, I think, most likely would not have survived probably the first day of his life. So I'm, I'm really eternally grateful to those professionals who picked up on this and then confirmed the diagnosis so early on in pregnancy. <laughs> yes. <laughs>